screening and we'll get wasted and watch it, but in terms of like getting it released to the public, I think it's up to you guys to demand it. So. And let's give this a bit of physical for a second. Was the prophet Chuck really God? Because if so, that means God attended a supernatural fan convention, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll field that one. Um, we're not going to give an answer. It's completely open to interpretation. We very, very intentionally did not want a character to come out at the end to say, and that's because of God. <laughs> because we thought, like, you just, you wanted it to be, you know, it's like douchey of, like, it's like M. Night douchey of a level. <laughs> And that means the writer was God, and isn't that the definition of M. Night Dushi? And my response is, I'm like, yeah, but if he is God, this God's banging whores. <laughs> so that kind of takes the curse off. Is that what you're talking about? Is that what you're talking about? puts the curse on it. That puts the curse on it. But anyway, no, no dif it's, it's open for people to debate amongst themselves if we have our own part of the hell. Beliefs. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a big fan of uh, M. Night? <laughs> I like his journalistic work. And Jensen, now that you're a director, what's your best advice for directing Jensen Ackles? <laughs> uh, uh, well, the nice thing is, is I don't have to convince me to do anything. Uh, or, Be Jensen Ackles. Or did I? <laughs> Uh, and yes, I, I by no means consider myself a director. I, I, was, I was given a, a task and I did it to the best of my abilities and, uh, you know, who, who knows. But uh, it, I, I got lucky because I got to work with, uh, you know, Jim was carrying the weight of the show and, uh, and, and Jared was not on set. <laughs> this is really the biggest bonus of being a director. Uh, yeah. Is there any plans for Jared? Jared, Misha, Jim, even Sarah? Um, Maybe directing an episode at some point? No, don't do it. No. <laughs> For me, not, not so much. I, I, I've noticed that directing requires a certain amount of work. <laughs> which pretty much eliminates it from my list of things to do. <laughs> I, 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 want to, I want to say this about, about Jensen's directing. I, I wanted to give him a sense of what it was like to be a director on the first day. And um, I thought about staying in my trailer for 30 minutes. <laughs> but I, it just went too far against my sense of ethics. Um, but uh, uh, I, I, I remember the very first setup, uh, uh, Jensen came in and said, okay, Jim, uh, you're on the phone to whoever, and uh, I think you should walk over here, uh, start over here, come, come over to the desk, pick up the phone. And I said, I know how to pick up a phone. <laughs> what, are you, what are you, Eric von Stroheim now? <laughs> and, uh, well, the writing boots and the writing crop were probably a day. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was the megaphone that, um, uh, but you do look good in a beret. Uh, seriously speaking, uh, I've been doing this for 312 years. And I've worked with a lot of really, really good directors. And uh, I have never felt any more secure uh, or well-guided as an actor than I have by Jensen Actors. Sentimental moment. All for Tomasov's panel. Sweet. You didn't buy that, did you? <laughs> so, is there any chance Jeffrey D. Morgan can be coached back? <laughs> or is there any other guest stars coming up in the season that people want to know about? <laughs> As for Jeffrey Dean, have you seen that guy's special? Oh my God, he's a movie star. We love him. We love the character, we want to work with him again.
we are wide open. Of course we're wide. I mean, we're not stupid. <laughs> but um, he's just a very busy man, and you know, he can make it work. We would love to make it work. Come back to us, Jeff. Come back to us. Uh, but, uh, uh, Mitch Mulvaney is coming on the show. I mean, who else is their father figure? Who else has that energy? I mean, nobody. So, so come in, Jeffrey. Yeah. So, believe me, what you were saying, you're, she was making like a little thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mitch Mulvaney. Father figures. I mean, he's got a very patriarchal kind of vibe. Oh, don't worry. Could anyone ever replace Bobby Singer? Ever? <laughs> <laughs> so we did just write the rule that way. Don't worry. But, um, we uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah and, and Jerry, did you find a challenge to play against yourself as Lucifer in the season finale? Uh, I did, yeah. I know. I even talked to Jensen about it because he had done it for another episode. But it's it's strange as an actor because you're so used to responding from what the character does. You know your motivations and your intentions. But like Jensen and I find a lot in scenes that we have our idea, but then playing it out, it changes. And it adapts and it and it, uh, it builds into something that you never thought it would be. And so it's tough because I talked to him because there were options. I could either look into a mirror or I could have another actor sitting there <clears throat> saying the lines, or I just have a photo double to, to talk at, and um, somebody on camera said lines. And I ended up talking with Jensen because he had been in the same position, and I just chose to use a piece of tape, which sounds kind of bizarre, but I didn't want another actor giving their performance and it affecting my performance, because then it wouldn't be, it wouldn't make sense when you saw the whole scene. I still haven't seen it. Um, I'm a couple episodes behind. I, can, I got to call out. Yeah, I'll watch it. I'll watch it. I'm a couple episodes behind. Oh, thanks. It's really nice. <laughs> I really, really appreciate your, your support and commitment into the show. <laughs> Someone told me how it ends. So I yeah, 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 yeah. watched Granny, so I don't know. So it was just me. Yeah. Um, but uh, but it, was, it was very tough. But it was fun. So I think we might have some audience questions. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.